Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here I am again with my Chester Zoo build. I promised you a, um, a brief look around. It's going to be very brief um, because the main reason for doing this video is um, my newest building. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. You may have seen my build video of it. Um, you might not. Uh, I'm doing some work around here. I've removed all the paving from here and we're going to re-put the path down. Um, but there you go. Uh, I've redone the uh, entrance building and I'm in the process of doing the, the second building with the toilets. Uh, you can see the roof for it up there. It's floating about up there and it will um, it will eventually come back down onto here. Something like that. Um, and all be hidden away. Lovely, lovely. Let's, let's not bother with that. But I'm working on that. So let's have a quick look through the zoo. And um, a lot of it you'll have seen before. We've got all the elephant area up here. The elephant enclosure with um, with the big elephant house. So we're going to wander around this way, around the side of it. Ooh, quicky, quicky, quicky! Through the entrance gate. Um, we do have the monkey enclosure, the monkey house over here. There's a lot of litter in the park at the moment. I need to get some uh, some sweepers wandering around. I haven't got enough, and I haven't got any bins or anything. And again, I've removed a lot of the pathing, so it looks a bit funny at the moment. We're in the middle of uh, just adjusting a few things. So just bear with us while we work on that. Um, you may be aware that I I started building this and then I stopped and redid it all from the beginning. The reason for that was to get a few things in that didn't fit in my original plan. So for example, if you're aware that Chester Zoo has moved its lion enclosure recently and I I couldn't fit it in where where it would have been um, on the old map that I uh, that I was working with so I, I decided to restart and um, it's just taken me a while to redo all the pathing and I'm, I'm trying to rebuild a few other buildings and it's just taking a little bit to get there but we're, we're getting there we're uh, things some things are looking nice and some things aren't quite as nice but <laughs> you know so like uh, there's a lot of area around here not been done I've not finished inside the butterfly journey Obviously, there are there are bits that are done, but not by by no means all of it. It's all a bit up in the air. And again, the lion enclosures over here, where it is in real life. And again, there's quite a bit to be done on this. So inside, uh, there's another building here. There's a canopy goes over this, um, and then there's a huge tower here for staff only, where they can feed the lions from here. So there's no lions in there at the moment. Let's wander back around the giraffe area, which I have decided I'm going to populate. And then when they build the new giraffe area, I will take this one out and put the new one in. In fact, I might put the new one in before uh, before Chester Zoo actually finish it. I'm going to try and build it from some of the plans that they've got. Uh, where am I up to in the zoo? We're over here. We've got the islands in danger. I know it's not called islands in danger. <laughs> I will change it. Uh, and then the fountains, which is going to be demolished, uh, not by me, by the park. And the stables is over here. We're, we're wandering into the wilderness a bit. Um, we'll go back to some bits that are actually finished. We've got the buffalo over there on the left, feeding away quite nicely. Drinking dirty water. Don't drink the dirty water. They're all quite happy in there. Um, again, I haven't put animals back in a lot of the places, so over here it's still empty. But this has got okapi in it. We've got a couple of okapi in there. You can see them wandering about around there. And the, uh, the tropical house is here, but again, inside isn't done yet. It's, um, it's a big empty space inside, but outside I'm fairly happy with it. It looks quite nice. And then over here we have the old chimps. The old chimpanzees. Let's go and have a look. We'll see what's happening with the chimps. People are looking through the window. I can't see any chimps in there, guys. There's no chimps in there. They're all outside. All outside, so let's wander out. There they are. Well, there are a few of them. Wandering about over there. Cool stuff. 
Um, we're going to wander over this way now. We're going to go through over to this. Uh, you can see it's still working on it. I've got my measurement marks on the floor so I know where all the buildings go. Uh, Jaguar Coffee House. Oh, there's no path to the Jaguar Coffee House. So we just put a path in briefly just so people can get to it. Um, so there's two vending areas there uh, which go over to our uh, Jaguar house uh, again you know there's bits to do in the Jaguar house oh excuse me dodgy camera work dodgy camera work here we go there we are uh, enclosures aren't finished although if they're pretty much built they're just not finished and again in here the bit with the bridge and again, there's no there's no theming in there. There's no scenery. Let's wander outside. I think the water level's too high on that. It needs to be a bit lower. Should we do that now? Let's do that now. Uh, water, thanks. Water, maybe mm, probably a bit lower. And I need to I need to sort the uh, again all the all the theming in there, not just the water. But there you go. Which brings us to the new thing, which is what we've been working on. As the, uh, as the mechanic walks through the fence. Um, so there's a lot more theming to be done around here and around here and the old part of the of the the house needs to be redone or or done. So there's a moat goes in there and some barrier work and some other things but this is looking a lot more finished than it was. I uh, We can now wander in. I put the roof on now you see we've got the roof with the uh, with the various climbing bits there's no netting in the game so i can't do anything about that there is some theming missing from inside here as well at the moment so if i can get the camera lower um it might let me uh might let us go in and wander inside here let's have a look one away careful careful there we go so when we come in um quite an empty area there but we do have we do have our uh we do have a snake in there or two. I think there are two in there. I don't really want to sit and search for them. I need to do a bit more theming around there. Oh, whoa, 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 this camera. You know, it either jumps or moves really slow and it's hard to get it right. Again, lots of theming missing from here. In real life, there are some exhibits on this wall, but because I've built the building to the exact dimensions of the real house, it's very difficult for me to then get pathing in because the smallest path I can do is four meters wide. And in reality, uh, some of these paths aren't four meters wide. They, they just aren't. And um, if, I'm, if I'm limited, and I'll show you this in a minute on, uh, on my aquarium. I haven't built the aquarium, but I've planned where it's going. Um, but the, the point is, if I put the pathing in, everything else suffers because everything else has to be a bit smaller to... Uh, to accommodate everything um, I said there's a few bits missing from in here so um, there's a lot of rope work and things need to go in and some more climbing bits uh, but in theory the the apes can actually get in and out through here to the outside part there we go and I've actually done quite a lot of work with the rest of the building so if we if we duck underneath the visitors area there's actually a staff area with um, a, a staff room and a, uh, a meal prep area. There's a bit here that the keepers can see into the outdoor enclosure, the, the sort of indoor outdoor enclosure. But there you go, we'll, we'll come to that from a, a guest perspective. And again, uh, there are things with it that I can't do. So these are the cages that run in and out from the enclosure. Um, and I, the, one of the things I couldn't do is there's there's actually a um, there's actually a staff area above this as well, and I just couldn't I couldn't get the I couldn't get it in I just didn't have the space. Um, I need to put glass in a couple of these. Uh, we've got some cabinets here with this one's got um, an iguana in it or two. There's nothing in that one at the moment, but uh, we are. We are actually starting to populate those. And again, I need to do some work on this. But we can see into that outdoor area. The glass in the game is quite poor. It doesn't let you see through it very well. But it is built. And again, the, the apes can get in and out of the this enclosure underneath us right now. There's a there's one of those cage tunnels. So we go down and they, the path's done on this side. 
There we go. You can see some of the orangutans out there. Just having a, a grooming session over there. Sat and wandering about. And there you can see the tunnel. And underneath it is actually the... Uh, no, I put the keeper's entrance over there, didn't I? I think I originally put it underneath there. But it's over in the corner. But there you go. We have orangutan. And voila. And again, lots of theming needed doing around here. And the gardens in the middle here need doing. But that's it. I wanted to show you um, a little bit of the zoo about where I'm up to and what's coming. Um, I mentioned the pathing, yes. So this is the minimum width path that I can get. This is the actual size of the aquarium in the zoo. In relation to everything else, it is to scale, which means that I can't actually get the aquarium working properly. So I'm gonna be stuck with just a couple of pathways inside it uh, and then maybe trying to duplicate tanks in there somehow. It's going to be interesting, but I haven't got much space to work with. But that's the actual size and shape of it. Uh, and I just can't fit the pathways in. Because again, you go inside the aquarium at Chester Zoo, the pathways are not four metres wide. There is no way. No way. Anyway, so there you go. Um, my penguin area, I finished it. Um, some people said, oh, you don't need to put snow in because they're... Uh, the penguins from South America. Um, I, I agreed with that. That's fine. I, I understand. However, at the zoo, everything's painted white. The rocks are painted. So the only way I could get them to look white is by putting snow in. Uh, there are no penguins in, of course, because there are no penguins in the game. But there you are. But that's the finished penguin area. And again, lots and lots of theming needed to be done around the outside. So there you go. So that's where I'm up to with the zoo. I um, I hope that you're enjoying uh, watching me build it and um, that that you're uh, well you, that you enjoy what I'm doing. I um, I am working on it. We are getting there. There's um, there's an awful lot still to do, um, but there are there are quite a lot of bits that are finished and I'm quite happy with, like the painted dogs, for example. <laughs> you go and the hyrex I, I actually quite like the hyrex ex exhibit even though obviously oh no hyrex in it and we've wandered straight over to a rhino but there you go i quite like that i think that's a good exhibit i think i did a good job of that one but there you go anyway i hope you've enjoyed my little tour of the zoo i hope that you like what i'm doing and that it's um it's it's working out if you do like it please um like the video uh, press the thumbs up on it and um we'll we'll get around to doing some more as of when i can and um yeah it, it's coming on and i'm i'm pleased with it i like the bits that are fully finished like uh, like sort of around here it, it looks nice um you know not quite finished with the enclosures but certainly a lot of the trees and the pathways are in which it always makes it look fuller and and more vibrant so there you go um that's it for me for today uh, i'll be back with another video in the next few days i don't know what i'm going to be working on next i uh, i'm pretty much finished with the realm of the great ape uh, as much as i can do i can't do netting i've got i've got lots and lots of cosmetic things to do lots of planting around here finish this enclosure finish off this area and try and work out what animals are kept in there because there is a there is a, a, a little enclosure here that you can walk around um yeah but there you go uh, that's my latest building hope you like it my name's backblast i'll see you next time